Firm in the clutches of winter, these juveniles have abandoned the warmth of the indoors for the snow-covered hills of the Midwestern backyard. Their decision to lay down their electronic devices was easy, for their father threatened to set fire to the Wi-Fi if they didn't get off their butts and breathe some fresh air for crying out loud. Stumbling upon an orange slab of plastic, instinct has compelled these creatures to seek higher elevation, though hours in front of a TV screen seems to have atrophied their standing muscles. They discover a use for the plastic slab, transportation, and to ensure the safety of the riders, they send the youngest male out as bait for any predators hiding under the snow. They push off, hitting three, maybe four miles an hour easy. The youngest appears unharmed and scurries off, trying to look as Oompa Loompa as possible. The pink-footed male has an idea that he thinks will be hilarious. He showers his siblings' faces with snow, something he's learned from TV, perhaps. We got face traps! They didn't like that. The female targets her prey, rises, and delivers swift and painful retribution reminding her younger brother to check himself before he wrecks himself. The pink-footed male now wonders if his sister's payback was excessive. He decides that it was and seeks to balance the scales. At such a young age, the eyesight of these creatures is poor, and the Oompa Loompa takes the hit. Watching Minecraft walkthrough videos on YouTube all day requires no facial muscles whatsoever. So when these creatures finally break into smiles, it is no doubt that their faces are in excruciating pain. Run, little one. The outside has set you free. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Stunned, the pink-footed male raises the pitch of his voice. Unsure what to do now, the offending female smiles insecurely at her father, wondering if her brother is now broken. The young male lashes out, then calls for help. Only the dogs can hear him now. These creatures rely largely on instinct. Forgiveness, though, is something that must be taught. Realizing that control of the plastic slab means control of the group, all four juveniles vie for power. Forming an alliance, the younger male sees victory over the uncoordinated females. And after a moment's celebration, the victors make a speedy getaway. Not wasting a moment, this young juvenile immediately starts a new fight, which she loses. In their mounting confidence, these two females have gone too close to the cliff and were never seen again. Oh, there they are. They're fine. Balancing primarily on a couch for most of your life does not translate to snowboarding. All this physical exertion has robbed this female of the oxygen her body so desperately needs. The Oompa Loompa gets into position with his binoculars, not wanting to miss a moment of his brother's misfortune. That was satisfying. This is why 12-year-olds are not allowed to drive. Check your blind spots, and more importantly, what's right in front of you. With four children and one plastic slab, it begs the question, are these objects hard to come by in the Midwest? Would three more be too expensive? Perhaps their father and mother only think to procure sleds when it snows, and parents more proactive have already emptied the shelves. Whether they have enough sleds or not, these creatures have tasted outside air. They have felt nature beneath their feet. They've seen the sky. And perhaps when the siren song of personal devices pulls at their entire Saturday, they'll remember that their parents were super right about kicking them outside for a little bit. Yeah.